Alright, hi there guys, my name is Fancy Landmine and welcome back to Pikmin. In the last episode, we got the yellow Pikmin and the fuel dynamo, fuel dynamo as well as the radar dish. The radar dish will allow us to see other parts as well as know where all of our Pikmin are out on the battlefield. Now in this episode, my plan is to get all of the remaining parts that I can get without the blue Pikmin. So, hopefully we can do that today. Alright. To start off, I'm going to go over here and grab out eh, about 50 of the yellows. Yeah. Dismiss them, and then go over here and grab out 50 of the reds. We're going to start using them first. And we're gonna see if we can't get these guys flowered up. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Did I get out of the back? No? Hmm. Oh wait, no. I'm an idiot. And we're working on the after. That's right. Alright, then we're gonna go over here and we'll get five of those guys up there, and then we're gonna throw the rest up over here because there is a ship part hiding behind that bolt. Bolt there. Or something. Feature. Nasty feature right there. And once they're all up, we're gonna go around this way. So you can use this little tree stump to get up. And make our way back around. And then we're going to grab all these guys and head this way. That time, we can go ahead and grab this part, which is the shock absorber. This apparatus counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this in place, usually. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and throw. I think it's the, it's 30 of these guys. So we'll go ahead and do that. And with that, we'll take these guys over and down here. And now right there is the Nova Blaster. Go ahead and grab it or do that. Found the Nova Bat. Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the pr promotional bro brochure claims that its blast can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. And yet, it could not destroy a meteor that put you on this planet in the first place. These guys work on that, and then unfortunately we're gonna have to take the long way around. But we're gonna go ahead and grab our yellow and put it back this way. Up to kill rats. Ah, sometimes it's scary. Just take them off. Then we're gonna go back 
this way, and we're going to go ahead and grab the bomb rocks out of these areas, as they will help us. All these guys back. And grab these bomb rocks. Now, for those of you who have not played Pikmin, oh, there's our part. And I will start saying again. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying experience in typical space flight. We just need one more ship part to increase our capabilities. Alright, then we're gonna go ahead and grab these three. And then we're going to separate these guys out. We'll grab these guys and these guys. We might lose a few guys over here fighting off these. Pikmin never hurt anyone. You guys, right? And all these guys. All right, we're going to focus on this wall. Now, if you do it, if you time it right, you can always get two Pikmin on the wall. And I believe this wall takes nine bomb rocks to be broken down. So right now we're at six. Eight. And nine. And that will separate these guys out. Grab these guys. Have some fun. We're going to go ahead and take out this guy with the Pikmin. And that. guys and swarm this guy. and we should, if I'm right, be able to take down this wall right here. Which will be a shortcut back to base, which is always nice. Yeah, it's three. And then one final rock. And we'll go grab these guys. And these guys. The Extraordinary Bolt. I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it is it is of extraordinary quality. That is indiscernible to 
the average person exactly what makes it so extraordinary. It is a secret, but just look at it. Extraordinary. In other words, it's just useless. not how I wanted that to go. Oh, great. Alright. Uh, extraordinary Bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. And with that, we have increased the dolphin's capabilities, which will allow us to go into the next area, which holds the boot. And after this, we're going to make a short trip of running away from this guy. And we'll just have these guys. Yeah, um, the, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the red Pikmin are actually better at fighting than the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little switch out over here. out how to fix that. Alright, make our way past. Alright, make our way back down this way and finally take care of this guy down over here. Paint everything. If I'm right, I should just use this map. Yep, with that, that is all the parts we can get in this level for now, as the rest of them require water Pikmin to get. To. Grab this guy from down there. And then we can go over here. It's just 
six for the wall that's over by where the yellows were. So, a little tip I should give you guys is, uh, if you want to, like, keep getting Pikmin but don't want to have to pluck them, pull a hundred Pikmin out onto the field, that way you can still get the Pikmin that, from all the monsters and everything, but you don't have to worry about, uh, picking them as everything is already taken care of. With that, we have the Note Blaster. Nova Blaster. This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. That's a strange allure. And yet, it still couldn't take down a meteor. There's another one in here. Sometimes there are more bomb rocks in those cans than in gears. Which I think is just a visual glitch. But... We can go ahead over to this stone wall, take it down, and that will open up all the paths that we need to open it until we reach the next thing. And I didn't need six as this wall is already partially destroyed. No. Uh, one thing if you throw these Pikmin with bomb rocks and. Um, and you they don't throw their bomb or anything, don't whistle them to your side as they will drop the bomb to come to you. Instead, just run into them, and it, that'll work too. And we're gonna take care of that guy. Then go ahead and... We might be able to get two for one if we do this right. Last one. We will make our way back and we will. Uh, we should have time to gather some things for more Pikmin. I just don't know how much we'll be able to get. Go ahead and throw these guys into here. It's 121 yellow. And then we'll go. Check to make sure we're not missing useful in this game, whereas yellows, yeah, they're useful what, when there's like walls and there's one particular fight that they have that makes them useful. And there we go. I 
that's all of them. And with that, at the end of the day, we have a total of 201 Pikmin, and we have gathered all the parts that we can for the moment in the Forest of Hope. Take off, leaving no pigment behind. Go ahead and skip that. Three days since impact. I now add yellow pigment to my list of discoveries. These creatures can yield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls. Again, this is more tutorial things, just telling you you can use the pigment to um, blow things up. Pigment are useful, is basically what it's telling you. With that, we have sprouted 70 Pikmin today with a loss of 3. Bringing our total of 5, but we only have 24 parts remaining. So, until next time, this has been Fancy Landmine with Pikmin, and I hope you all have a good day.